Okay, so our problem of the lesson today is going to be hearing a story about time and our job will be to model that time on our paper clocks at home. So you have a paper clock at home that looks very much like this one here. So I'm going to give you an example. Here is the story. Mom, Dad, and Tom eat lunch at half past one. So I'm taking my hour hand and I've moved it past the one. It's halfway between the one and the two. And the minute hand is halfway around the clock. So it's pointing to the six. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Because half past means it is 1.30. And this is what it would look like on a digital clock. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a story. Your job will be to model it on your paper clock and then I'm going to show you it on a digital version of your paper clock so you can check your work. So let's go to the first story. Mom buys groceries at 10 o'clock. So what I want you to do is I want you to show me 10 o'clock on your digital clock. Does your digital clock look like mine? Short hand pointing to the 10, long hand pointing to the 12. Good job. Let's go to the next problem. Tom plays soccer at half past 11. Tom plays soccer at half past 11. So there's my 11, and now I'm going to go half past 11. So my hour hand is halfway between the 11 and the 12, and my minute hand is pointing to the 6. I bet you made your time faster than I did. Let's go to the next story. Dad walks the dog at half past 7. Dad walks the dog at half past 7. So there's seven, and then I want to go half past. Does your hour hand go halfway between the seven and the eight? Your short hand? And is your long hand pointing to the six? Good job. And the last story is mom, dad, and Tom eat lunch at half past one. Be sure to model that on your clock. Did you show me the hour hand? It's half past the one, halfway between the one and the two, and the minute hand is pointing to the six. Mom, Dad, and Tom eat lunch at half past one.
or we would say 130. Good job on your work. Okay, so now I'm going to model some time on the clock. I'm going to show you, whoops, I'm going to show you a time here. Two. It's 2.30, or what we would say is half past two. I'm going to give you another time, and I want you to show it to me on your clock. I want you to show me half past five. Half past five. Does yours look like mine? You want to see how it looks on a digital clock, 5.30. Okay, ready to show me another time? Show me half past nine. Half past nine. And we write that as 9.30. So it's 9 hours and 30 minutes. 9.30. Show me half past 11. Show me half past 11. We write that as 11.30. 11 hours. 30 minutes. I hope this makes sense. The biggest thing to remember is that when you're counting minutes on a clock, each of these numbers means five minutes. So let's count those fives again. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Remember, there are 60 minutes in an hour. Now it's time to put on your thinking cap. We're going to solve a few problems today. At half past six, the hour hand and the minute hand are both pointing to the six. Is this correct? So when it's half past six, are the hour hand and the minute hand both pointing directly to the six? Try it on your clock and see. I'm going to try it on my clock. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Now it's half past six. Are the hour hand and minute hand both pointing directly to the six? No. The minute hand is pointing to the six, but the hour hand is pointing halfway between the six and the seven. So no, they are not both pointing directly to the six. Did you know that already? Good, let's read, read the next problem. At what time of day will the minute hand and the hour hand be on top of each other? Hmm, that's kind of a challenge, isn't it? At what time of the day will the minute hand and the hour hand be on top of each other? So let's see. I'm going to kind of start moving my clock and see. Maybe you can do that on yours. Hmm, not at 7 o'clock. Not at 7.30. Not at 8 o'clock. Not at 8.30. Nine o'clock? Nope. Nine thirty? Nope. Ten? Nope. Ten thirty? Nope. Eleven? Nope. Eleven thirty? Nope. Twelve o'clock. Do you remember how to write that? Twelve. 
a clock. Now I hope you're using your paper clock at home to make time for yourself. You can kind of make a game out of it. You can have somebody play the half pass game. They can tell you a half past time and you model the time, or you can tell them a half past time and they model the time. I hope you have some fun with your paper clocks. Good luck on your work.